about to leave already packing come with me i'm not hello friends and enemies welcome back to happy for now it's me isabel here with an exciting announcement i'm so pumped so i am co-hosting february's taboo book club with tamika we are doing a bdsm theme and i'm really excited because this is like this is my thing like y'all i have been reading these kinds of books for like 10 11 11 years a while a long time and I honestly love them immensely and I just was so excited when Tamika asked me to co-host this month and was like what do you want to do and I was like Ooh, BDSM BDSM let's do it and I love it because there's just such a wide variety in the BDSM genre and you know it's just it's so good it's so good. It's so fun. I will link to the Discord in the description box. If you're not a member of her Discord yet, be sure to join it. The live show is February 28th. We've not picked a time yet, so you can also check that out. And she will have a video up, of course, announcing this month's picks and some recommendations. I'm going to share with you our pick and my recommendations because our pick slash that series is definitely one of my recommendations. So we picked Haven by Rebecca Weatherspoon this month. I love this book i love this book so much i waited on like the edge of my seat for sanctuary to come out the second book in the series and for harper to come out okay like i could not wait i love rebecca's writing number one one of my favorite authors of all time you know not only does she deliver in things like rafe and zenny but beards and bondage really just hits my id it is one of my favorite things it is full of delightfulness at the end of the day. So the first book, Haven, follows our hero and heroine. She is on the run in the woods from a murderer who attacks someone she's with. And he finds her and helps save the day and lets her like stay in his very secluded cabin. There's a lot of growth. They kind of like find their way together and he is into BDSM and we go from there book two is another is someone we meet in yeah we meet them in this book <laughs> and they are also end up on the run from something at their job there's like a whole thing i think they're a lawyer if i remember right I, these are the things i don't pay attention to it's all fossils to me uh anyways they end up at this farm in upstate new york which is the same farm that you see in zenny um, yeah, so she ends up there with this very quiet brooding man and it's so good. And then you have Harbor, which came out last year and Harbor is a menage like no other. It is smoking hot. I cannot recommend Harbor enough. I think Harbor is also a great example of a great polyamorous relationship and how that can work and still be super respectful of people. All right, uh, so let's talk about some of my other recommendations in this genre, in this category, group, trope, whatever we want to call it. Uh, I have to recommend one of my favorites that I actually honestly need to go back and finish all of the books in, which is The Club Shadowlands by Charisse Sinclair. These are complete now, and I want to call it a particular one that I absolutely loved, but this series follows a specific club. It's in like Florida and it's they do all kinds of fun things you know you get to meet everybody and it just keeps building on everyone's uh experiences there's a little bit of suspense in these books as well so if you like the suspense element of haven i think that you might like that part of these and on that note i will not beg is one of my favorites in this series this follows sir ethan who is a dominatrix or er, dominatrix sir ethan who's a dom from england and he saves Piper from a really awful contract she signed and helps her heal and overcome a lot of the trauma she experienced in that contract and being trapped in a really, really shitty situation. I really loved how this showcased what BDSM can be for people who had a bad experience maybe or need a sense of control around certain things and healing within that area. Um, it's just so good. I really love Sharice Sinclair. I think she does such a beautiful job of demonstrating, while not realistic, but also realistic BDSM relationships. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I just really love this book. Love these books in general. Uh, then we have the Masters and Mercenaries series by uh, 
oh my gosh, Lexi Blake by Lexi Blake, which I also read a long time ago and have continued with that series. I'm slowly working my way through all of them. These are very much your romantic suspense BDSM dom kind of guys. They are mercenaries and um, you just, you kind of get to know the group and they slowly like expand out into their like who's who. My particular favorite was the Men with the Golden Cuffs, which was a menage. It is a MFM menage, so you do not see the swords cross, if I recall correctly. Just an FYI, but I really, really enjoyed that one. I thought it was a great setup. I really like menages. <laughs> and on that menage theme, I will also say, I believe Pink Slip by Katrina Jackson has some nice BDSM elements to it. It's not over the top. It's not like hard hitting in your face BDSM, but I do believe there's like a little bit of that fun to it and it is also a uh, female female male menage which is really really nice and the it's a married couple who are spies it's got like Mr. and Mrs. Smith vibes uh, with a third added in and it is spicy and there's pegging so can you really go wrong you can't go wrong then I also want to recommend a book that I recommend with full content warnings do not go into this book without knowing these warnings and unprepared that book is The Siren by Tiffany Reese, Rice, whatever. This book, first of all, content warning, there is an underage sex, there is, there's underage, there is underage sex in this book. Nora does have sex with a minor in this book, they are 17. You need to know that now. There is also kind of some discussion of maybe the groom, the grooming, the grooming happens. I generally do not like underage stuff in books. That's usually a hard no for me, but for some reason the siren really works. This follows Nora, who is a dominatrix. She's super well known in the underground scene and is friends with a lot of very known people. It's a very steamy book. She is a writer and she and her editor, Zachary Easton, end up doing a lot of fun things together. And just, it's it's steamy. It's It's a little long, very steamy very packed full of like kind of angst and a lot of interesting things as you continue the series there are things like knife play and blood play um there's just a lot uh, i think i've gotten through like three or four of the books i need to finish the series but i really enjoy them when i visit them and i really like nora as a character um i particularly actually like another character that we meet in book two even more but I'm not going to tell you about him because this is book one. So yeah, if you are prepared for a very dark romance that honestly in some ways shocks me that Harlequin published it, The Siren may be it for you. All right, and then I want to share just a couple books on my radar that I want to read in the next few months with BDSM themes. One is Nikki Sloan's Blindfold Club. I really, really liked her Dirty Rich American series, Filthy Rich Americans, whatever. I really liked that series and I know that I want to explore more of Nikki Sloan's writing this year and she has a box set with the first three books together for like six bucks. Six bucks? Yeah, six bucks. Five ninety nine. So I'm really excited to dive into those. Um, and I think the first book in that series, Three Simple Rules, is also free right now. Anyways, she has to go to like a blindfold sex club and it honestly sounds like an adventure and right up my alley because I do love me a very dirty book. Then I also have The Prodigy by Brianna Hale on my list uh, because Tamika sent it to me for her traveling book and I will be reading this. I know it's going to be daddy kink and I know that there's going to be some BDSM in it. That's all I got. I'm very curious to give it a go. And then last but not least I have Control by Charlotte Stein which I don't know a ton about but I do know it's a female dominatrix and I really really like female doms in books. I feel like we don't get enough of them in our BDSM and I'm just really excited to try some more. So yeah, those are my recommendations and my on the radar. Let me know in the comment box if you have any books you think I should check out with this trope or if you're going to pick any of my recs up from this list. Uh, I will have links to this month's book club pick, all the books I talked about, and the Discord in the description box. You can also find links to anywhere you can find me on the internet down there. Drop a black heart emoji if you made it this far in the video. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. Really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know.